Hello, this is Cookie from Cookie Dotin, and you're watching the handset and gaming review of Zolo Q2500. This is a 6 inch tablet that comes powered by a quad core processor and it also houses a 3000 mAh battery. Let's quickly go through the specifications. Zolo Q2500 is using the MT6582 quad core chipset clocked at 1.3 GHz with Mali 400 GPU. The screen is 6 inches IPS with HD resolution. There is 8MP rear or focus camera with a BSI sensor, 2MP front camera, full HD video recording and playback is supported, 3G is supported, there is 1GB RAM, 4GB internal storage, runs on Android 4.2 and the battery is 3000mAh. Inside the box you'll find this handset, a free flip cover, of a very good quality made of artificial leather, here is a closer view, a screen guard, travel charger, data cable, OTG cable, Nice looking earphone, here is a call button and the mic and here is a close view of the earplug. Inside the box you will also find the warranty information and the quick start guide. Here is the handset. It's a big handset with a very big screen and it's pretty slim and that makes it more attractive. This is the rear side made of plastic, black color with matte finish. The build quality and the finishing is very good and of course you get a very big uh, usable space of 6 inches. There is a single touchscreen button here, you need to rely on the on-screen buttons. Here is the in-call speaker, Zolo logo, sensors and the front camera. The volume rockers are placed on the left side, the power button on the right side. Here is the mic at the bottom. The speaker out vent on the back side, Zolo logo and 8 megapixel rear autofocus camera with dual LED flash. On the top you will find the micro USB port and the 3.5mm audio jack. This handset comes with a non-removable battery of 3000mAh capacity. You can see the battery here, it's totally sealed. This is a dual SIM handset, SIM slot 1 supports 3G, SIM 2 supports 2G and this is the micro SD card slot. The handset width with battery is 210 grams, thickness is 8.80mm the breadth is 82.70 mm and the length is over 154 mm. Let's power on. Here is the home screen. The color reproduction looks good. There is a single dedicated navigation button here and when I press this you get the on-screen navigation buttons. You can hide the on-screen buttons when required or get them when needed. The viewing angles are good, it's not very good, but good enough for the price. The touch is very smooth and responsive. In settings, you will find the net firewall option, you can give access to certain applications. By the hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering is supported, you can also set the preferred install location. Of the 4GB internal storage, 0.98 GB is allocated for apps, 1.75 GB as phone storage, here is the free space for apps. And of the 1GB RAM, you get around 739 MB free. There is a LED indicator that goes red only when charging, as you can see here. I have connected a USB pen drive and uh, OTG is supported. I can access the contents of the USB drive. System information, MediaTek MT6582 chipset clocked at 1.3 GHz. It's quad core with Mali 400 MP GPU. The GPU is clocked at 500 MHz. This handset is running on the Android 4.2.2 with screen resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. Here are the list of sensors, there are 3 sensors, accelerometer, light and proximity sensors. The time is 1.24 pm, battery at 60% and the temperature at 32 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 6918, Antutu 17252, Vilamo HTML5 1958, Metal 553, Dinamark 2, 54.6 FPS and this handset supports 5 point multi-touch. And now let's check out the camera, there is HDR, beauty shot and panorama modes. Rear camera is 8 megapixel, front camera is 2 megapixel, full HD video recording and playback is supported. I've started the video recording 
and this video got recorded in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. And now let's check out some games. This game got installed on the external storage. The gameplay is very smooth. But sometimes you'll find that uh, some of the buttons becomes unresponsive. And now let's move on to the Asma update. This game also got installed on the external storage. By default it is set to the highest graphic mode. Here too the button seems unresponsive. In general the gameplay is very good, the graphic details are excellent. Okay, I'm going to try tapping the buttons again. As you can see here, the next button is not working. I'm tapping the next button, it's still not working. And now I'm going to tap the dedicated button and the button works. Probably Zolo will fix this issue in the next update. I've been using this handset for around 29 minutes playing some games and running the benchmark applications. The battery dropped by 8% and the temperature is 37 degrees. The Zolo Q2500 is a 6 inch power blade running on the Android 4.2 with 1GB RAM and 4GB internal storage. This dual SIM handset is powered by 1.3GHz quad core processor and houses a 3000mAh built in battery. The handset though big looks pretty attractive because of the slim design. This handset supports 3G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS, OTG and over the air updates are also supported. The flip cover adds more glamour to it, yet maintaining the figure. If you're looking for a handset with a big screen, this is a very good option. Zolo Q2500 is available for approximately 14,000. For full review sample images and videos, visit my website, gogi.in.